Yeah, this was the one, first one of Lee when he was six months old. Um, which I absolutely adore. And then Lee, this beautiful photo of Lee. His look, the last photo was taken the day before he died. As you can see, looks like a model. Smiling again, and beautiful as ever. Well, he wasn't perfect. In no way was Lee perfect. He was just cheeky, boisterous, you know. He did a couple of jobs up to getting into the army. But that was his dream, that was his goal, you know, to go in the army and serve his country. Yeah, he was a very proud mum. Three of ours were to write a book um, about Lee's life, um, the memorial, um, which can, you know, people can go visit, remembering Lee, pay the respects, and also the foundation um, we want to set up in Lee's name to do some good for others. I wanted to write the book really for people to see Lee as Lee, not the murdered soldier, but I wanted people to, you know, see the other side of Lee, um, the good side of Lee, um, and for his name to be always out there, and never be forgotten. It's been a long, hard journey, um, a heartbreaking, emotional journey to go through. Um, it's taken two and a half years to write the book, I can't thank Woolwich, the people of Woolwich, enough. We we wanted to do the charity basically because we never got support, much support out there when Lee passed away. Well, really, we're out there really to help with like care, support families that are going through what we're going through, the grief, um, support them the best way we can. And we just wanted to give something back, if we can help somebody else in Lee's name, you know, that'd um, do good.